Here's a story about dietary restrictions. Jenny just went to the doctor for a normal checkup and was found that she had a nutritional deficiency. With this new finding, she has lots of questions and concerns and she discusses them with her doctor. Some of Jenny's questions are, what is a nutrition deficiency? How are nutritional defic deficiencies treated? How should I eat to prevent nutritional deficiencies? Will I always have a nutritional deficiency? And will nutritional deficiencies cause long-term problems? Jenny's doctor gave her lots of good suggestions, but she also said that she should go home and look up some of her concerns on reliable sources on the internet. So Jenny went home and she looked up some of her questions. Her first question was, what is a nutrition deficiency? A nutrition deficiency is when the body requires many different vitamins and minerals that are crucial for the body's development and preventing disease. Then she asked, how are nutritional deficiencies treated? Some doctors suggest dietary changes. They may even add supplements. And then lastly would be parental nutrition. Now Jenny didn't know what parental nutrition was, so she looked it up. She found out that's when they give you nutrients through your veins or your muscles. She continued to search for reliable information and asked, will nutritional deficiencies cause long-term problems? And once you have nutritional deficiencies under control, they generally don't cause more problems, but there are some nutritional deficiencies in children that can have serious problems and lead to long-lasting negative health outcomes. Next, next she asked, how should I eat to prevent nutritional deficiencies? So um, they talked about pumping up iron-rich foods such as red meat, chicken, and turkey as well as vitamin D, which would be fortified milk, yogurt, egg yolks, and fatty fish, as well as B12, where you have your yogurt, your cheese, your chicken, and your turkey. Calcium with your eggs, yogurt, milk, fish, and calcium with your green leafy vegetables and of course, magnesium with your green leafy vegetables, almonds, cashews, whole grains, and dark chocolate. Jenny's last question was, will I always have a nutrition deficiency? You won't always have a nutrition deficiency if your nutrition deficiency um, is met. So after Jenny looked up some resources and t got her doctor's recommendations, the doctor said that she should probably tell her school nurse so that they could help her at school with her nutritional deficiency. Now imagine that you are in Jenny's shoes. You are going to come up with many questions and concerns that you have about your restriction, research your questions and concerns with your computer, and create a presentation on your discoveries and how someone might cope with your dietary restriction. And don't forget to cite your sources.